Are you wondering why I dropped this phone into a cool tumbler of water? Well, for all these answers and then some more, let's go over to Abhishek Bhatnagar. Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsuit.com and today we are going to talk about what does a flagship phone mean for you? Does it mean a good design? Does it mean a great camera? Does it imply a good build quality? We are going to talk about all that. We have the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus with us which is a flagship phone coming from Sony and Sony is betting big on this one this time. Let's talk about the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus in detail. Talking about the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus, it looks like a very good phone in terms of the build quality. It is a very strong phone and in terms of look as well, it is a premium phone to look at. We have the copper variant with us as of now, which looks very nice in terms of the overall finishing. Talking about the overall design, the design is again similar to the Xperia Z3 which you might have seen earlier, but this one is slightly improved. They have given shiny corners over there on the edges which does make it look premium. Talking about the build quality of Sony Xperia Z3 Plus, they have given very good premium material on this one. They have given glass at the front as well as at the back and you have metal on the edges. It has the kind of build quality that even if you drop it, it won't break easily. On the display front, Sony has given a IPS LCD display on this device which looks very colorful, good in terms of wing angles and the color production has also been enhanced. Talking about the display sensitivity, the display is very sensitive to the finger touch. So even when the display is kind of wet, you can use the display even with wet hands as well. In terms of the power you need on a smartphone, this is one of the most power packed phone you have. You have an octa-core CPU inside which is Snapdragon 810. You also have a very powerful GPU as well which is Adreno 430 which can actually play high definition games pretty smoothly. When it comes to day to day usage, you can do high definition video recording. 4K resolution video recording is also possible and this phone can handle all these things pretty easily. The phone UI is also pretty smooth. In day to day usage, you will not see any kind of lag on this UI. Sony has also worked on the UI front that you actually get the kind of responsiveness you should get in this user interface. And also in case you load the phone with heavy software in application, the phone will still be responsive and you can use it pretty smoothly. One thing which creates a bottleneck in the overall performance of this phone is the heating. This phone does heat up especially when you play high definition games, it will heat up quite a bit. When it comes to day to day usage, it will heat up moderately. And again, the moderate heating on this phone does not create much of an issue, but it does annoy you at times, especially because the phone has glass at the back as well as on the front, you will experience good amount of heating on this one. And again, heating is not because it is poorly designed, it is because of the hardware inside. We have Snapdragon 810 which is again known for heating and because of which this phone does heat up and this might be a problem for you. On the imaging department, it has got a pretty good camera at the back which is a 20.7 megapixel camera which you might have seen on the Sony Xperia Z3 as well. But this time it has been enhanced in terms of the overall quality of photos you will get from the rear camera. You can take good photos in daylight and you can take very good photos in low light as well. Talking about the front camera, the front camera can actually capture much more people especially in case you plan to take group selfies. And again it can give you very good clear photos even if you take the photos in low light. On the video front, the camera can actually record 4K resolution videos, high definition resolution videos from the rear camera and it can actually do a very good job even in low light as well. Talking about the front camera, the front camera is also capable of recording high definition video which might be very useful in case you would like to use it as a selfie camera when you are traveling. But comparing this phone with other phones in the market on the price front, this is slightly higher in terms of the price. It is 55,000 rupees which is pretty huge amount you will pay for a flagship phone. As far as my verdict is concerned, there are some three key features on the basis of which you can select this phone. The first thing is going to be premium looks, second thing is going to be the design and third thing is going to be the unique waterproof feature. And this is all I have to say as far as the review of Sony Xperia Z3 Plus is concerned. Now I hope Abhishek's review has answered most of your questions but I still have a few questions that are on my mind. Now the Z3 Plus is an upgrade of an already great phone. So how do you think it compares with its predecessor? I would say in terms of comparison, Z3 Plus is definitely a good upgrade in terms of the overall design and the look and feel. But when we talk about the performance, 
it is not that great because of the heating part of it either you compare it with the sony xperia z3 earlier or with other flagship phones out there like samsung galaxy s6 i'm not letting abhishek go anywhere without answering one more question so abhishek tell me what is the best feature about this phone that gives it that much needed edge over all the competition in the market i would say the sony xperia z3 plus waterproof feature is something which makes this phone very special out there in the market compared to any other flagship phone and again this feature makes it very special among the flagship phones now while i enjoy a cool mug of a smartphone why don't you